The song, This Is The Day, Rejoice, came from a burden of sorts that God placed on my heart probably close to a year ago now. It was a rare Sunday morning that I got to simply go to church and worship with my family. And the songs that were sung, the prayers that were prayed, the word that was preached were all solid and good and right, but I can remember feeling like there was an emptiness in all of it, a joylessness of sorts. And that very next Sunday, as I was driving to church early in the morning to lead worship, my heart broke open and I honestly began to weep in my car begging God to make us an authentically joyful people. And at that moment, it was as if God put his finger on my chest and I sensed him say, it has to start here. The truth is that I had been trying to live disciplined and devoted to the Lord, but I wasn't being driven by my delight in the Lord. Even to this day, when I feel exhausted, I can often trace the fruit of that feeling back to the root reality that I'm operating out of my own strength and not, as Nehemiah 8 says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So from there, a group of us from the church got together and started writing this song really as a prayer for our hearts and the hearts of God's people to become genuinely happy in the Lord. Not a happiness that comes and goes with the right circumstances, but a joy that is built on our rock-solid Savior, Jesus Christ, who has come for us died for us, risen for us, and will one day return for us. When our eyes are lifted to him, we can say with the psalmist in Psalm 119, 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So my prayer is that this song will help you delight yourself in the Lord. This is the day he's made.